Well, hello there, guys, girls, non-binary people. It's your favorite unsalted cracker. It's Brother Reed here yet again. And people with us today, as always, we're joined in the back by our sidekick. You guys know him as the box. And we also have with us today, we have Alexa. What is rotisserie? According to Wikipedia, rotisserie, also known as spit roasting, is a style of roasting where meat is skewered on a spit, a long solid rod used to hold food while it is being cooked over a fire in a fireplace or over a campfire, spit. or roasted in an oven. This method is generally used for cooking large joints of meat or entire animals, such as pigs or turkeys. Spit roasting. Anyway, guys, as always, it looks like it's that time. It's time for another exciting, insane, super official, thought provoking, straight edge food part review. If YouTube's only true, there in six spot of your food part review. We have the rotisserie chicken bites basket from Dairy Queen. Comes with fries. You have your gravy, which I never did care for your gravy. You have your uh, toasted bread, two of them, and you have your rotisserie chicken bites. So. We'll see what it's all about, people. I'm pretty pumped up about this one right here. I got I got high expectations, but I'll tell you what I don't I don't like about it. Seven dollars for the box. Seven trap box. Seven dollars. Yeah. We got ourselves some sweet and sour to go along with it today. We're trying something a little different, people. Instead of always having honey mustard, we're going with the sweet and sour today. We're going to give this baby a review, see what it's all about. So as always, guys, remember if you have anything you'd like, read the box art you like to review. you got to leave a comment below, because if we like that comment, guys, we might just pick it out and review your request. Next. Thumbnail, small pieces of chicken for a small man, as the ex-wife would say. All righty, guys, before we get started, we have to bust that nut. Oh! Uh, uh. You know, when I was thinking about when it said spit uh, roasting, it reminds me of the night I walked on the ex-wife and she was using her spit to lubricate Malcolm's, you know what. Anyway, uh, let's try the rotisserie chicken without the... Uh, Sweet and sour sauce. Let's go with that first. Mm. Wow. It tastes just like a rotisserie chicken. It's very good, people. And you got your fries to go with it. You can't beat that. That's nice. Surprisingly very good. Let's pull out our sweet and sour sauce here. I was worried about their uh, chicken being tough, but it's not a bit tough. It's very juicy. You can see it right there. Very nice. Look at that. Let's dip our sweet and sour in here. Excellent. Excellent, people. Not bad at all. Better than I expected. Better than I expected. Pretty good. I do prefer their chicken strip uh, basket over this though. Good flavor, people. If you like rotisserie chicken, you'll like the... rotisserie chicken bites. You'll like them. Overall, people, a good job from Dairy Queen with these right here. I was kind of skeptical, but they're not over seasoned either. I thought they might be overly seasoned, but they're not. So, they're great. Great with fries. You know, their fries, not that bad at all. Uh, overall, people, the Rotisserie Chicken Bats from 
Derek Quinn. I'm going to give him a very solid score. I'm going to go 3.5. 3.5 stars just because the price I gave for this and the chicken is a little bit tough. It is a little bit tough. I don't know if that's normal or not, but 3.5 stars. Good job of this. And at $7, you need to give a drink for free. Why does Dairy Queen do this? I don't know. The drink's separate. It's $7.49 or whatever it was. And I was like, what? In my mind, I was like, what? But, I mean, you're you're paying 7 Why not make it $6.99 with a free drink? It's just, uh, it can't be that expensive to make this chicken. I'm not, I'm not falling for it. There's probably one, two, three, there's probably 10 more pieces of this right here. But now we got a big one right here. I mean, look, I mean, you got some good size ones. But anyway, guys, that's the official review. <clears throat> As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get back to enjoying this. Actually better than I thought it would be with the sweet and sour. Uh, sweet and sour is pretty good. Thought about getting ranch, but I just stuck with the sweet and sour. So that's going to be the official review, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching me, the box, Archie Alexa. We'll see you guys as always next time. Have yourselves a great day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Toodles. Number of Kit Kat people. I mean, we reviewed a number of Kit Kats on the show. That is nice. That's very good. So many different Kit Kats. Oh my God, that's great. Oh my God. I mean, let's just look, people, at all the flavors we've reviewed. I mean, it's amazing. That's solid. I like the lemon flavor with the Kit Kat. And Kit Kat is a very underrated candy bar. It really is this good. Look at this, people. Look at all the Kit Kats we've reviewed over the years. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, that's impressive. All the flavors. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It just never ends. It's Kit Kat all day, all night. Look at this. Well, I guess that's it there. But there it is, people. You see it. You see it with your own eyes. Man. Birthday cake, quiet. Pumpkin, apple pie, triple chocolate, dark, duos, strawberry, sweet cinnamon.